on the last episode of K&J Lumber. We went logging for ash trees. Now let's bring some of these home and start milling. Some of the employees got sick. I think I could do a full day out there. I think so, huh? Yeah. I think I could do a full day. I've done, I've done worse, man. <laughs> <coughs> well, you're not 20 anymore, Kyle. There's a bug going around Minnesota here, so, so I guess we're on hold. So Kendall and I had to work the mill and cut the ash logs ourselves. The show must go on. I was sawing a log that was from our property and I didn't know there was a deer stand peg in it. The blade that I was sawing with, its life came to a short stop. Because I hit this peg. And you cannot saw through those. They're very hard. <laughs> yeah. do it. I'll, show you the, I'll show you the blade when we're done here. I can get a picture of it. There's no teeth left on it. I need to turn the volume up because again, you, you talk so low and outside here. I'm yelling! Now we hit a deer stand peg and totaled our saw. So we decided to wait a few days. Now that our employees returned healthy, we could finally saw up the rest of these black ash logs. Well, that's some uh, black ash Nice slabs. Ash, although not real popular, is a very pretty wood. Yeah. So we cut down some big ash trees to save them from an invasive beetle today. But our wood adventure isn't over yet. If you want to see an idea of what to do with this lumber after it goes through us, check out this video where we rescue some old growth red pine lumber and have a trusted friend transform it into a one of a kind book matched coffee table.